Hello everyone, Andy Sirwich here with Altera Software, back today for another Altera VM Backup educational video. So unlike some of our other educational videos where we talk about just a specific feature inside of our application and how to use it, uh, this video series focuses more on situational type of uh, instances when using our software. So today we're gonna to focus on schedules and retention policies. So uh, this video assumes that you've got the product installed, uh, you've added your hosts, uh, you've set some backup locations, and you've taken a couple of manual backups. So after you've taken your manual backups, what's the next step? Where do you go from here? Well, the next logical place to go is schedules and retention policies. Uh, you don't wanna be taking manual backups all the time, right? You don't wanna to have to you know, come into work every day and log into your backup application and manually take your backup for the day. That's, that's no good because you've got other things that you need to worry about. Schedules allows you to um, have our application take care of backups on a scheduled basis for you without you having to worry about it. And we can get to schedules uh, from the Altera VM Backup Console here by going to Schedules in the left-hand pane. Now, what you'll notice here is we've got uh, kind of a very common view that you're going to run into throughout the UI when using our application. You'll have this infrastructure tree view on the left-hand side here, and in the uh, in the center pane here, you're going to have you know. Uh, whatever it is to do with the section of the UI you're in. So in this case, we see schedules in this view. So you can see I've got three schedules here in this particular environment. I've got uh, this weekday schedule here that uh, every weekday at 2 a.m. I run a backup for this, uh, this particular virtual machine and the little cloud icon tells me that this schedule has an offsite copy associated with it as well. Now I can edit this schedule by clicking the edit schedule button. I can delete the schedule by clicking remove schedule, um, you know, and I can assign virtual machines just simply by clicking and dragging them. So I'm gonna hit okay there. Now, if I wanna add a new backup schedule, I simply click add backup schedule. I need to discard my changes first. Now I'll add backup schedule. And here I have a number of different options. So I can set a recurrence pattern of weekly or monthly. I'm commonly asked what, what's a recurrence pattern. So let's talk about that real quick. A weekly recurrence pattern lets me do things like, okay, so this, this backup is running at least weekly and I can define what days of the week this backup runs and what time and whether or not I want to run an offsite copy after that backup is complete. A monthly recurrence pattern lets me do things like, uh, okay, the first day of every month, I want to run a backup. Or uh, maybe I want to do like the second Sunday of every month, I want to run a backup. i let you do things more on a monthly basis, um, just like that. So uh, they're both useful, you know, depending on your particular needs. Um, I find that weekly recurrence patterns are far more, they're, they're far the most common. And um, the other nice thing I like to always point out here is in the right hand pane here, you'll see kind of a nice preview of what the schedule looks like after you've made all your particular changes. Once you've made your changes and you're happy with them, you click save and your schedule will then appear in the list out here. So that covers schedules. The next thing I want to talk about briefly is retention policies because uh, by default, Altero will retain backups for two weeks on any given virtual machine, but many organizations, they have requirements that are outside of that particular uh, two week period. So let's head over to retention policies real quick. Now here on the retention policy screen, kind of that same layout, we've got infrastructure here on the uh, the left hand pane and then we've got um, we've got local backup retention and we have off-site backup retention now I always like to, to point this out whenever I'm talking about our retention policies one thing that differentiates Altero from a lot of our competitors is um, we can define different retention policies for local backups and off-site backups uh, a lot of our competitors have this idea that the off-site location is at all times, a exact copy of what is contained on-prem. Uh, we wanted to provide a little bit more granularity than that. So we allow you to, uh, if you want to, you know, do a week retention on-site and then do five years retention off-site if you wanted to. So uh, with our product, you have that level of granularity. 
So you can see here, you know, I already mentioned that the default is two weeks. So if you uh, create a new VM and you forget to assign it to a retention policy, we will dump that VM in the two week retention policy by default. Now, if you wanna create a new retention policy, again, the center column is for local backups and the right hand column is for offsite backups. So let's say I wanna create a new local retention policy. I'll click add new and I simply define the number of days. So let's say I wanna go 90 days. We'll go with 90 days and I'll click save. And that will now appear in my list and kind of the same thing. We've got that click and drag motion just like any other section of the UI. So I assign that virtual machine to the six month retention policy. I click save changes and I'm done. So that covers it for today. Again, we covered schedules and retention policies. Those are kind of the next step that you'll take uh, after you do the initial setup and take your first manual backups. So be sure to check out our YouTube channel for additional content. And uh, if you want more information on our product, you can go to www.altero.com for more information. Have a great day.